Um, what do you feel are the hallmarks of a great portfolio? Um, I think a good portfolio to me is someone who has a real good understanding of concept, of idea. Even in graphic design, I think good ideas, they usually are communicated pretty well visually. Um, so I always look for good ideas, um, things that are unique. I look for people that invent, that, that like to try to take chances with their design. Um, the other thing that I think is really important that I think a lot of people don't put as much effort into as they should is type. Type is huge. And when you have a really good understanding of type, and it's, it's um, when you have a good understanding of type and how it works within design and how it works within communication and advertising, that's strong and that's important. It's, it's important for me to know that somebody understands how type works with design and communication. So I would say that's one of the things that I don't see as much as I wish I would is someone who really understands type and who's gotten involved in understanding that rather than just uh, interesting pictures. I mean, that's great. It's great to know how to do that and all the special effects and things that people can create now, but it's also very important for people to understand how type works with that. Um, I think a great portfolio is going to show a diversity in work and, and uh, also style and, you know, and it's also going to exemplify, you know, all of your talents. Um, you know, be it that it has um, components of, you know, maybe traditional illustration um, all the way through to electronic media, um, examples of that, um, that you have a, you know, a good pace in your book, um, you know, that I'm seeing some, you know, some good stuff consistently through, um, you know, that I'm not seeing any mistakes, you know, I'm looking for attention to detail, uh, no, um, you know, straight cuts and things like that, um, you know, you can see a lot in a book that is going to tell you a lot about that student or that person um, and, and how they're going to you know, work with you and your team. So, Obviously, great design. Um, I think a variety to show your different skills. Um, real world pieces, um, even if, you know, I know coming out of school it's kind of hard, but even if you have a few real world pieces to put in there. Um, Attention to detail, I know specifically when I'm looking for, um, looking through a portfolio, I'm not only looking at the capability of the person as a designer, but whether or not the margins are consistent, the letting, the kerning, all of that stuff really makes a big difference and it's stuff that I personally take um, note of when I'm looking at a portfolio. And um, the presentation as well, whereas there needs to be some something in between telling me your life story about every single solitary piece and then just handing me the portfolio and letting me flip through it myself. Um, I would say primarily, you know, I want to know what the piece was, who it was for, um, how successful it was, if you know. Unfortunately, we don't always know the results of everything, but, um, you know, what, what part you played in it. Um, sometimes people feel they need to say that they did every piece or every part of every piece that they're presenting. And if you truly did, that's fine, but um, a lot of the times, especially if you're going to work in a bigger team, you know, we want to know that you worked with a copywriter, that you worked with your creative director, that you were, it, it doesn't take away what you did on that piece, it just shows that you can collaborate with other people. Originality? I think, yes. Yeah. I mean, originality first, you know, and, and, and I think the most important thing on a portfolio is that, is that you have a style that defines you. You don't talk to anybody else. I think, I think that's, that's one of the big things. And, and great portfolio goes, I mean, if you go to interview for a job, you know, that, that is, you know, to, you know, to sell a cars, you know, you got to bring something that is related to that. I used to interview with people, you know, that like my other job, for example, and I would, you know, it, it was a job for advertising, you know, advertising agency, and I would get people, you know, with paintings. So, you know, a great portfolio is personalized to whatever you're interviewing for. So, so it shows, you know, you, you, you might have, you know, a couple other pieces that shows, you know, other skills and how you can take that and use it into whatever job you're interviewing for. But it needs to be personalized. That's the biggest thing to me. You know, don't 
you know, if this is, you know, a job where, you know, we do ads, you know, for dogs, you know, don't, you know, don't bring, you know, 10 city covers, you know, because it doesn't make sense. You know, I, I, I just think that's the biggest error, you know, of, of designers when they bring portfolios. They just put everything they have, you know. Get 10 pieces, get 8 pieces, you know, and 6 of them should be, you know, go towards, you know, what you're interviewing for. So personalized. I mean, that's a, that's you know the big thing: originality, and 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 have a style that defines you, you know, that makes you cutting edge. You know, so. I think also the presentation of your portfolio says as much about you as the content in your portfolio. So it's good to come up with something original, you know, for your for your self promotion, like your own your own letterhead, your own mm -hmm. business card, your own collateral, and oftentimes it's the most difficult to design for yourself, but it's the most important because ultimately that's what you're selling okay, above and beyond everything else. And you have to think it as a, as a salesperson, you know, in a way. You know, you're selling your art, you're selling yourself. You know, and, and I think you know, of, of you having an agency uh, going to a real estate agent who needs an agency to do their next campaign, what do you bring? You don't bring city covers, you bring stuff that's related to that industry. And then you present it in a way, you know, in a professional way, you know, like I said, you know, you have your cards, you have, you know, your letterhead, you have, you know, whatever. But it all, it all goes together. And then and, and, and maybe find ways, you know, to, to make your portfolio more interesting, you know, to, to present it in different ways. You know, maybe you have, I don't know, man, you know, it's a book instead of, you know, a regular portfolio. It, maybe it is a CD, you know, where it has everything and then you have something in paper. Maybe, you know, it, you know, be clever, man. I think, I think we lack of, you know, of cleverness, you know, sometimes, so.